Hey, what is up everyone? So, today I was planning on talking about the Flags of Friendship event that was going on in Sea of Thieves and how I actually did enjoy it more than I expected to. But honestly, the thing that's at the top of my mind right now is just the poor state the game is in. I know, surprising me talking about another negative thing about the game. It It's just the time we're in right now with Sea of Thieves. But I feel like this is something that just can't be ignored. So rather than just explaining it the whole time, I really want to just show you what I'm actually dealing with. And this is, you know, just me on my own. And I've seen a lot of other people talking online. So I know it's not just a, either a one-off situation with me. I know it's not hyperbole by other people online, you know, trying to take the worst examples of the game. Because I'm experiencing it myself too. So that's really what I want to show off today. You can really see in this first clip that I'm showing, this is me coming out of a dive. And it immediately just gets all messed up where the ship is sideways, it basically crashes the entire ship, and then I spawn on an island. And I didn't even realize that I was still in the battle for the hourglass mode. I just appeared on a random island. I was like, oh, I guess the game just canceled it. And then I looked at the map, and I noticed, oh crap, I'm still in a battle. So you know I got my ship moving quickly and everything. And that was just rough. But that at least got a little bit better after that initial chaos that started it all. The thing that was really bad was another hourglass mode battle that I did where my ship was all like sunken halfway. Everything wasn't really working that right. When I would try to jump, sometimes the jumping felt like very like sticky almost. So like I was like not able to like really jump like you'd normally expect. When I tried to board another ship, sometimes like the ladder would be like way higher than expected just because of the weird way the ships were interacting with the environment. And even just like moving around and stuff, it was just very glitchy. Even the mermaid, like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this clip, but there was some times when I did try to go board and stuff, and then I had to go get a mermaid, that the mermaid wouldn't even like respond. So I had to just keep swimming to my ship and grab the ladder because I just couldn't get back to the ship at all. And it's just very weird. And I'm very worried about season 13 coming out with these issues still present because there's no way that I can expect having the burning blade and then all these new activities that are coming in season 13 which i'm very excited about not impacting the performance even worse i don't really see how adding all this stuff can make the performance better and the fact that they still haven't fixed it after you know months of this being a thing in the game is pretty bad i've seen a lot of people from the sea of these community online talking about how they would rather see season 13 be released and then afterwards just focus on like bug fixes and performance improvements and stuff. I am not in that camp because I feel like that's what we saw last year with the major delays we saw with, you know, even going earlier, season seven was majorly delayed for months. And then especially with season 10, I think we all remember the drought of content that happened with that. So I don't know if people just have short term memory and don't really remember how bad that time was last year where there was just nothing new being added to the game. But I really don't think that's the right approach with this. Now, I do think they need to restructure how they're doing stuff internally at Rare because there should be a team dedicated to doing this and I assume they already have that, but it feels like nothing's really improving and stuff is actually just getting worse over the last few seasons and few years, honestly. It seems that performance, especially with the PvP aspect of the game in terms of, you know, the clunkiness of weapons and everything, it feels like it was actually better years ago compared to now. And that's in some ways expected with you know you adding more content into the game and not really removing stuff it's always going to have like more of a load that has to be done and that's just you know how software is but i think more time needs to go into how to optimize the game to better perform because right now like say hourglass mode like the examples that i showed this is unplayable i i did it you know i still won this fight both fights actually but it's not a good enjoyable experience trying to have these battles where you're significantly handicapped just due to the poor performance of the servers. Part of me questions again, and we talked about this a few years ago, and maybe that was too soon to bring up this topic, and I know it was a little bit heated, some people were really for the idea, some people were against, but eventually I think we do need to talk about when does Xbox One support need to be abandoned essentially? And I've talked about solutions to basically mitigate that, so I would like to see basically a next-gen version of Sea of Thieves continue with the same progression, same world and everything, but 
take it to the next gen level, maybe improve the graphics, even though they are already, even though they're already really great, and then be able to expand the world, maybe get more ships on a server and stuff when you're not held back by the limitations of the Xbox One generation. And for those that are on an Xbox One and they can't get the new Xbox or get a PC or something else to play it on, I think anyone that has a purchased copy of the game should be able to play the game on xCloud. We already know that you can play Sea of Thieves on the cloud version of Xbox Game Pass, and it actually works decently okay if you have decent Wi-Fi, and you can connect that to an Xbox One. And honestly, even if you're on Xbox One right now, you'll get better performance typically if you have decent Wi-Fi on the Xbox One doing it the cloud version than doing the one that's downloaded to your console. So I do think we're getting to the point that that question needs to be asked again. Because while I'm just speculating what the issue is with all those performance issues, I do think that no matter what, it will make it easier on Rare and the team to keep adding stuff to the game if they don't have to be limited by older hardware that's holding them back. Because you have to think about it, the Xbox One was released back in 2013, so it's been 11 years since that hardware came out. Think how much technology has changed in 11 years. So I think it's a time that, you know, the Xbox One is very old, Xbox Series X and S have been out for a good amount of time now. I think, what was it, 2020, I think those released? You've had four years to get a new Xbox. If you can't play on the new Xbox, you have the cloud version. And I think there's a lot of options right now with the game. Regardless, I'm not saying that they need to abandon the Xbox One if there's other ways to fix this issue, but something needs to be done because the game is not doing well. Outside of these clips I've shown you so far, I've had a lot of trouble with the server performance just playing the game where it would be like kind of jumping around and being laggy. I've had the game crash on me a good amount of times over the last few months and it's just really made playing Sea of Thieves not really worth it to me. And I've been playing a lot more Fortnite and stuff this season. I'm not even finished with the season pass and we only have like a week left which is why I haven't done like a ship review of the Plunder Pass because honestly I haven't finished it. I am pretty close I will say that but that's mainly because I'm trying to push to get it done. Well, I'm very excited for Season 13. If they continue with these issues, I don't know how successful Season 13 is going to be. Either way, I am looking forward to it. I'm hoping these issues get addressed in the future, and I, I know the team is aware of it. I know Mike Checkman was commenting on some people's posts on Twitter this past week regarding all the stability issues and everything. So I know they are aware of this, and they are working on it. And I hope we be improved going into Season 13. Well, that's my video talking about it. Just kind of a little side rant. I don't want to be too harsh on the game because I do know software development is tricky and bugs are going to happen. I wouldn't say the game is completely unplayable right now. It's really hourglass mode that I've seen as the most affected, but it is across the board. Everything is a little bit more laggy, a little bit unstable in terms of the game crashing more often now. So there, it is playable, but it should be a better experience. And I don't know how this relates on the other platforms. I'm playing on PC just to make it clear to everyone. But those are my thoughts on this topic. I'd love to hear all y'all's thoughts in the comments below. And let me know if you've had any experiences that are like some of the clips I showed in today's video. But that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed, it'd be great if it's a like and subscribed. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.